law of communication making the marriage work you must have the law of departure the law of communication mm. words are important communication is a big problem in marriage and i'm going to explain a few things about communication because many of us do not understand communication and that's the problem we have crisis you talk but you don't communicate there are couples that talk every day and yet they fight every day because they are talking but they're not communicating they are not communicating amen i said amen, amen. the law of communication it is very very important he says in matthew 12 matthew 12 37 by the words i think that's that's it but the words that justified but that were right but the words thou art condemned now listen to me communication number one the first root of communication is the right word. words the right words the right words w-o-r-o-d-s words words you must learn think before talking now i say this to couple all the time no matter how angry you are there are some things you must not say and the word became flesh and dwelt among them i have no shadow of doubt that this video is going to be a blessing unto your life and your ministry don't forget to subscribe to this channel click the bell notification and give it a thumbs up if you like this video watch a full video next to this job 6 25 says how possible are right words proverbs 23 verse 16 he said my reigns don't rejoice because thy leap speak right things words are important in proverbs 25 verse 11 it says as apple of gold in a picture of silver so is a word that is fitly spoken your words are important in james 1 26 the bible says, any man no matter your religion he said if he cannot breathe all his tongue his religion is in vain proverbs 10 19 in multitude of words they wanted not seen because even when you make peace those words keep ringing in the head I will kill you. I will bury you with my hand. You said it out of anger. But as far as your wife is concerned, she's not seeing Paul or James. She is seeing killer. You have made peace, but in her head, killer, 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 killer. So most time, so now she has spare key to all the rooms. She has spare key to the front room. She must. She wake, make sure you sleep before she sleeps because she is seeing killer. A woman was so angry, she told the husband, he said, get out. All these children, you think they are your own? That's what she said. They got that family meeting mother. They did DNA test. He took, he says a lie. He went somewhere else, did another DNA test. I said, this is what? She was angry. He said, hey, Papa, no. This is the Holy Spirit that has spoken through her. Which Holy Spirit? <laughs> but that word was too grave. Are you a man? Are you a man? You think these children, they are all your own? The man said, what did you say? words right words some people say they are angry it was anger it's not anger it means your tongue needs to be circumcised spirit of god circumcise my tongue i can tell you there are things now i have a wonderful home you should know that but there, my wife has done some things that i don't like especially when she's begging for people my wife is the chair lady of julius beggar she can beg for useless people lord have mercy on me no, that but then human being is useless. Some people are so she will need them. You say, you know, God brought them. I say, this is not the kind of person you should beg. She will beg and beg, and sometimes can get very upset. I say, you know what? Leave me, leave me, leave me. She will say, okay, oh, sorry, apostle. Hiya! <laughs> because you know you are a father to the bad and the good. If you beat the child with one hand. I say, what if the child has collected the other hand? Which hand will you use? There are some child you pass, you are beating them with that hand, they are dragging the other hand and so most of them know when they do anything, they'll go and cure behind her. So sometimes I get very what I do when she's doing all that, I just keep quiet because anything I say, I will transfer the anger from the person to her. So at that point, I say, I've heard. In my heart, I say, Holy Spirit, control me. <laughs> Just control me at this point. Just con That's why in our marriages we need the Holy Spirit. Because the emotions are there. The emotions are there. So 
doctors have done some things too also to make her angry she's just quiet and that has helped us we have certain policies you know the right words matter number one number two the right tone many of us don't know that tone tone there's a way you can tell somebody good morning and it's nice somebody good morning <laughs> can i ask you a question can i ask you a question can i ask all of us a question if god always shout on you would you like his voice god is sending you to london my son he said father it's okay <laughs> <laughs> so most of us it's not what you are saying it's our tone the way the man would talk to the lady now women are very emotional and when you talk to them and your tone they check your tone they don't check what you are saying <laughs> there's a way you tell a lady ah, you have not prepared anything yet she's like oh I didn't know you are hungry you, you mean you've not prepared now that you have just initiated the problem you have initiated sometimes we talk but our tone is a problem i was a victim of that for, for a long time when i'm talking about it i just told you that this thing should be done like this say sorry sir sorry sir after a while the holy ghost told me he said you are not a husband you are a bully it's not until you you some people think uh, they can stand to say i've never lifted my hand but what your mouth has done now she won't complain but when i'm going to i will now go back to her you know men cannot say men hardly say sorry and i go back to her are you okay <laughs> she says yes i'm fine <laughs> uh, some men here like me <laughs> are you okay i say yes yes i'm fine it's okay i didn't shout to i was just um trying to all of that takes a lot of energy so i've changed now i just come straight i'm sorry because those indirect way you are trying to pass back pass back you are going somewhere you pass back yeah i don't have energy i just because you see i shouted i'm sorry let there be peace because i used to pass a lot of you know corner are you okay are you angry he said no eh. Eh. okay oh. what is that <laughs> what is that so i just come out now uh, uh, women do men do that so I just come out now and say, I'm sorry. I mean, I'm sorry. So the tone is important. Look, look, no, first Kings 19, verse 12. When the Lord was speaking to Elijah, the Bible says it was a still small voice. That is why he took his attention. So our tone. Are you following me? They say, What you call a lady? You say, sit down. This is not right. Let's not have it done like this. And they say, What you tell your husband? You know. Don't, there are some men if you are waiting for them to be in a good mood you wait for 10 years they are never in a good mood even on the bed they are vibrating as they are eating they are receiving call eh? when they finish from there everything about you say when will when can i talk to this man as a husband the truth is this there there are words and there are tones you speak and you get his attention are you following me are you following me it's very important very important and there are women that are only nice there are only nice they only use such tone when they want something please stop it your husband now knows you by the time you are saying my love my darling you see how much yeah because the only time you talk like this is when you want something yeah, my love my love ah, my husband the, the gifts that God has given my crown your husband say ah this one the demand is really much how much how much do you want but let that become a daily occurrence because God wants you any strategy under God that you can invent and innovate is important do you know sometimes when there is something you are talking to your husband about and you can't just get a Christian movie both of you watch it pray Holy Spirit this movie was actually prepared by you for my husband when he comes back to they touch him what of you sit down you discover you get to a point his, his attention is wrapped mm -mm. Mm -mm. It, it, the Lord is ministering especially some of these Mount Zion movies you know some of those movies yeah that talk on Christian ethics 
your husband is now his consciousness of God is gone consciousness of prayer is gone and you discover that you can pray on something number one the tone is if the words number two the tone number three both of you must always talk to God together that's prayer the best form of communication is to God and both of you must learn to have that God as your source one of the biggest weaknesses I have is what they call morning devotion you know this morning devotion eh? when family gathers together it used to be one of my biggest problems because the time my kids and my wife come to gather is when I want to sleep I'm awake all through the night that six o'clock seven o'clock it means a lot to me because that's when i want to sleep that's when my wife come to my room let's go money prayer hey it's so that period i just want to sleep i'm awake she's here i'm awake through the night through the night three four i'm awake my eyes are shining but when it's getting to 4 30 5 as i just put my back on the bed my wife says let's go and pray hi and sometimes i'm hearing them praising god and i'm on the bed i start feeling like one sinner i just finished praying i just finished praying i start feeling like a very big sinner and i pack myself i go and sit down there feeling guilty <laughs> but you need to I began to stop my prayer time for i have to use wisdom so that when i when they are going down or when she's awake i'm out so 90 percent of the time now when she comes she already see me ready she see me set but trust me it took wisdom and i'll tell you the truth both of you must learn how to talk to god together express yourself to god together with the right words i don't say report him in prayer if you're going to report him in prayer report him to god behind him not in front of him i was watching a movie in my car oh god i laughed i laughed the, the, the woman was praying the kids were there the husband was there the woman said father thank you we thank you oh god that lord god almighty we are not like some men irresponsible men useless men that will leave their family and go outside and be chasing little little girls father lord are you not surprised father lord it will surprise you to see as he, is this prayer where is your, where is your prayer? prayer are you not surprised lord can you imagine God, God, can you imagine that this one will go outside? Father, I know you are surprised. Father, help them in Jesus' name. Children, the man says, No, Lord, I want to thank you for some bad people that are busy listening to rumor, 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 rumor will kill them. <laughs> I was watching it, I almost jumped out of my car. Now I was mixed with laughter and fear. Is it God these people are praying to like this? You know. They were praying. The man finished. He said, In Jesus' name. The wife said, Father. Your tone is important. And also, in communication, you must understand there are some issues that are better left unsaid. This is one thing couples don't know. I must get to the bottom of this matter. Nobody goes to bottom. People are going to the top. I must get to the there are some things there are some things that we need to just forget about this is one truth that they don't teach in most seminars there are some issues when you see where he's going leave it alone am i saying bury it don't bury it kill it it never existed when there are every issues you want to react to every issue you want to talk about everything you're going to end up in problems number five mode of communication your views must not necessarily be accepted there are men today and women today if they say something and the other party doesn't do it it's quarter for for the next one week this is what i said should be done the man said no 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 i think we should do it like this mm. some don't see anything their face changes am i saying something it has to be that thing that they said it can be very it can be as minor as the the food they should eat that day when the woman says when the man says something contrary the lady are, are you angry no hmm. are you not the head of the house huh. what is that what is that 
your views must not always be respected if as a matter of fact my wife said something i think she was talking to somebody on the phone or something he said he said the husband he said he leave on the council and he says no when he backfires who is he coming back to is you when you give your wife a counsel and backfires who is he coming back to the only prayer you should pray is that the counsel does not take his life there are some men and women that can never listen they will never listen until they are victims a woman came to us she came from a certain ministry and she said that her husband does not sleep at home she has called people she has have spoken and the rest i said you pray prayer i wrote it on the paper i said read that thing she read it i said prayed for six days she read the prayer she started laughing after reading the prayer she was laughing i said why are you laughing he said that this prayer is very funny i said pray it what was the prayer father give my husband a problem outside that only coming on early can solve she just started laughing i said why are you laughing go and pray it she prayed the prayer about two weeks after that one time she was in the house she was ready pee 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 the man was pressing the horn pee pee some minutes to seven this is a man 1 a.m he comes drunk pee 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 she was worried so she ran out with wrapper over her chest and she opened the way the man came brrr, lock the gate lock the gate lock the gate lock the gate so she was worried lock the gate ah. she ran she locked the gate what's going on drag the wife's out come inside come inside lock the door lock the door lock the door she locked they locked the door so she was now worried the man said god Ned that was lifting his hand that he was drinking with his friend when robbers came shot this one shot that one shot that they were coming for him they were chasing him in the car that god that once is 6 p.m my wife i'm at home i will never so when she called me and told me i said did it work he said yes i said okay <laughs> that's what matters pray that he doesn't lose his life she doesn't lose her life but let them learn you can never no counsel from you can work except you report them to god